Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss book 16 in R.L. Stein's Goosebumps original series, One Day at Horrorland. So we're 16 out of 62. The goal is to finish before Halloween. We can do this. So this is very quick, 123 pages. Um, as we see, this is a secondhand book. Someone got this at 10% off publisher retail. I decided to keep the sticker on when I got this. And I was like, ah, uh, memories of somebody else's work. So, Horrorland, right? So there's these green monsters. Um, as mascots, there's these green monsters roaming around this amusement park called Horrorland. But what are they? Are they costumed humans? Are they just monsters? Like, what's going on? So there's this this family, the Morris family. Uh, Lizzie is the the main girl, and Luke is her younger brother. Luke's younger brother... No. Luke's friend, Clay, is with them, and then their mom and dad are with them as well. So there's the five of them going on a, a road trip to this amusement park, but they get lost, and... They are trying to salvage the trip, so then they see a giant billboard that says, you know, Horrorland. The billboard is actually the same exact thing here. This monster comes up and bites, you know, the air and then comes back down. Welcome to Horrorland, where nightmares come to life, right? So, they follow the, the signs. They park into this pretty much abandoned parking lot. There's only a few cars in there. And they go exploring through this amusement park. There's free entry. But before all this happens, as soon as they park and walk up to the ticket booth, their car explodes. You're like, how are we getting home? There's no phones in the park. What's going on? So there's these different attractions that are horror-induced. There's a, a barn filled with bats, but then when the lights come back on, there's no, nothing there. There's a slide to doom called Doom Slide. There's a bunch of other things, House of Mirrors. The parents um, are just trying to figure out how to way to get home, and then they can't find the kids anywhere. There's an alligator pond. Then they all take a coffin trip down the river. It's uh, it's It's very spooky because... When the when you think you're gonna die, that's when the the ride stops. So then that's when you get out of the coffin, or that's when you go up out the chute for the slide and land in the grass. So there's random families throughout. There's random groups of teenagers throughout. Then as the, the day progresses, slow and steady, less people are there. You still see these horror uh, characters who are just called the horrors, and they say these things where like you 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 can only die once in the park and things like that, right? So, no one can give them answers. The kids can't find the grown-ups for quite some time for half the book. Eventually, everybody comes together. Eventually, it's revealed that it's a hidden camera show. That there's cameras throughout the park capturing their moments of, of fear. But it's then realized that these uh, costumed characters are not actually costumed characters. They're actual monsters. And there's a bunch of signs all around that say no pinching. So then Lizzie figures it out. Because the main monster is saying nobody takes us seriously. And she's like, wait a minute. Well, why is the sign there if it's supposed to be serious? So she pinches the arm of this monster who then air escapes and she deflates. And then they realize that they can defeat the monsters. So they start pinching everybody. And then they steal a bus. And then they drive on home. Um, and then a monster is, is hitchhiking in the, in the back. And then, you know, says, hey, hey, you forgot your passes for next year. And then that's it. So it, it is a true story of one of my favorite tropes, anything can happen in a day. We talked about that within film a lot. Very rarely have I read books that take place within one singular day. But this book takes place within one day. And it literally says, one day at Harland. So true to form on the title, true to form on the, on the cover art, thankfully. Uh, very quick, very fun read. It's our first Goosebumps book that we have in an amusement park setting. So that was very different. I'm all for an amusement park. I'm all for a carnival. I'm all for a mall. Give me any of those three things, I'm going to love it immediately. Throw in the fact that it's one one day, love it even more. Also throw in the fact that it's about monsters and scary, scary, spooky stuff. Love it infinitively. So this is another iconic, you know, uh, cover in regards to a lot of Goosebumps representation has this cover, you know, whether it's shirts now for nostalgic purposes or things like that. But One Day at Harland, man, it's very, very spooky in regards to what, what, what would you do if you were, you know, trapped in an amusement park, which turns out to be a hidden camera show run by actual monsters? Do you then start killing everybody and then steal a bus and drive your way home hours later? Um, the only thing, though, is that if, and again, it's run by monsters, so obviously there's no straightforward laws between humans and monsters. But if you're in a hidden camera show, you do have to sign a release form at the end of that. That much I know. So that's the only illogical part of this fictitious book about monsters running an amusement park. But I'm nitpicking. It's okay. We did it. Book 16. One day at Horrorland. Awesome film. Awesome film. Awesome book.
on to the next review. <laughs> Wish you a holla.